Really early on, I had a teacher who talked about how portraits often fall flat in photography because if you look through generations of, you know, if, if you were to look at one family and many generations of portraits, they kind of start to all look the same. So we don't learn that much other than the topography of the face. They're not really great descriptors. But if you look at people's spaces, you can tell a lot more about a culture and they're a lot more revealing in a way than a picture of a face. And so I really ran with the idea. It, it resonated in me in a way that um, in a way that had a pretty profound effect. In my work from the very beginning, I've been pretty focused on domestic spaces and then um, spaces that are, for me, really interesting and specific to a culture. So the love hotels and the haunted houses. And then I've also focused on people's living spaces a lot and um, sort of vignettes within people's houses because I feel like those are portraits of those people without the people present. You know, in the image of the, the bed with the chains above it and the missing child posters, what's scary about that image is the same thing that's, that's scary about walking through that haunted house. But for me, looking at photographs and spending time, not only looking at them, but asking an audience to look at them, I feel like the contemplation of those spaces becomes, and those fears, becomes a much quieter, more intimate experience. And for me, that's a little more terrifying when I'm kind of alone with my thoughts, looking at, looking at fears in this visual way. The, the thing that's so scary about these haunted houses are monsters, both real and imagined. That's our... That's a um, culturally specific fear that you find in American haunted houses. And Margie Kerr writes about how haunted houses in Japan focus on ghosts as the scary element. So actors all dress as ghosts, but here that doesn't read. I mean, we would, we would laugh someone dressed as a ghost out of the room. I thought the rooms were a much more interesting descriptor of this element of a culture and that's what that work is about for me, is, is this overall portrait of a culture through this very specific institution. I don't think that you would find haunted houses in any kind of place where people feel physically threatened. I mean, this is, a, this is an indication of how safe we feel as a culture. You're not going to find any of these near a war zone. It's a portrait specifically through the haunted house as entertainment and fear and a mixture of entertainment and fear and leisure time. And I like much more open questions. You know, I, I have a real problem with work that lays out there a question and an answer and it's this very closed loop. I think it's much more interesting to create work that, that purports that it is a portrait of this big thing and then to ask the question of what does that say about us.